Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're making ground chicken and shiitake cabbage bowls. To start this dish, we need to rehydrate eight dried shiitake mushrooms just in a little boiling water. And we can set that aside while we pull off 12 to 15 leaves from our Napa cabbage head. This depends on how big your cabbage is. You could also use some boy, it's up to you. We want to take out this white core, so just going in with a sharp knife and cutting out just a little V. Over on the stove, we have some simmering water and we're going to blanch our cabbage leaves only for 30 seconds. This is going to make them a little bit more pliable and lock in that beautiful bright green color. After 30 seconds, we're going to pull these out and let them drain um, on a tea towel over a cooling rack. Now our mushrooms have rehydrated, so we're going to squeeze out as much of this water as possible, but don't throw that water away because we're going to use this to make a sauce. Once we've squeezed out all the water, we're going to give this a nice little rough chop and chop. It doesn't have to be perfectly uniform. This is going to add a meatiness and an earthiness to our cabbage rolls. Along with our mushrooms, we need to choppy chop up two scallions. If I can get the mushroom off of my knife, just giving these a nice little choppy chop. And now we can add this to one pound of ground chicken. Now to the chicken, we're going to add in 8 teaspoon of five spice, 8 teaspoon of sugar, along with a half teaspoon of sesame oil, and 4 tablespoons of soy sauce. We're going to give this a really good mix until everything is well incorporated. Now to form our cabbage rolls, we're going to take one leaf, add in one and a half tablespoons of our filling, and we're going to start wrapping this up like a little burrito or a gift for ourself. And once we have these rolled up, we are going to put these in a parchment lined steamer basket. Over the stove, we're going to place this over some simmering water and let this steam away for 12 minutes. In the meantime, in a small pot, we're going to add in a half teaspoon of cornstarch, three tablespoons of our reserved mushroom water. Give this a little mix to start dissolving the cornstarch along with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Really simple sauce, but it's going to add a lot of flavor. And we're going to bring this over to the stove and just over a low flame, we're going to thicken this up, which should take about five minutes. You just want it to coat your, the back of your spoon. Now our rolls have steamed and we are going to plate this in our favorite bowl. And I think four is a good serving for this, but add as many as your heart desires. Completely up to you. last one in and now we're going to drizzle with a little of our oyster mushroom sauce and this is looking absolutely beautiful now let's go ahead and give this taste the cabbage is earthy tender and savory the chicken is super flavorful you get that you're talking mushroom running through the sauce adds a little saltiness and umami and this is so delicious and super fast to make and perfect for any weeknight meal but there it is ground chicken and shiitake cabbage rolls i hope you all try to make this in your home thank you so much for spending some time with me today i really do appreciate each and every one of you if you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thank you again. And until next time, happy cooking.